Okay, so if we take that equation, why haven't we heard from anybody out there? Because every step is dangerous. Getting a new replicator is dangerous. You can pull through. We have pulled through, but it's dangerous. Take the first step. As soon as life appeared on this earth, we may take the Gaian view. I loved Peter Ward's talk yesterday. It's not Gaian all the time. Actually, life forms produce things that kill themselves. Well, we did pull through on this planet. But then, a long time later, billions of years later, we got the second replicator, the memes. That was dangerous, all right. Think of the big brain. Uh, how many mothers do we have here? You know all about big brains. They're dangerous to give birth to, uh, agonizing to give birth to. My cat gave birth to four kittens purring all the time. Ah, uh, mm, slightly different. <laughs> but not only is it painful, it kills lots of babies, it kills lots of mothers, and it's very expensive to produce. The genes are forced into producing all this myelinate, all the fat to myelinate the brain. It, do you know, sitting here, you're probably your brain is using about 20% of your body's energy output for 2% of your body weight. Well, it's a really expensive organ to run. Why? Because it's, it's, it's producing the memes. Now, it could have killed us off. It could have killed us off, and maybe it nearly did. You see, we don't know. But maybe it nearly did. Has it been tried before? What about all those other species? Louise Leakey talked yesterday about how we're the only one in this, in this branch left. What happened to the others? Could it be that this experiment in imitation, this experiment in a second replicator, is dangerous enough to kill people off? Well, we did pull through, and we adapted. But now we're hitting, as I've just described, we're hitting the third replicator point. And this is even more dangerous. Well, it's dangerous again. Why? Because the teams are selfish replicators, and they don't care about us or our planet or anything else. They're just information. Why would they? They are using us to suck up the planet's resources to produce more computers and more of all these amazing things we're hearing about here at TED. Don't think, oh, we created the internet for our own benefit. That's how it seems to us. Think teams spreading because they must. We are the old mach machines. Now, are we going to pull through? What's going to happen? What does it mean to pull through? Well, there are kind of two ways of pulling through. One that is obviously happening all around us now is that the teams turn us into team machines with these implants, with the drugs, with, with us merging with the technology. And why would they do that? Because we are self-replicating. We have babies. We make new ones. And so it's convenient to piggyback on us because we're not yet at the stage on this planet where the other option is viable, although it's closer, I heard this morning, it's closer than I thought it was, where the team machines themselves will replicate themselves. That way, it wouldn't matter if the planet's climate was utterly destabilized and it was no longer possible for humans to live here, because those team machines they wouldn't need, they're not squishy, wet, oxygen-breathing, warmth-requiring um, uh, creatures, they could carry on without us. So those are the two possibilities. The second, I don't think we're that close. It's coming, but we're not there yet. The first, it's coming too. But the damage that is already being done to the planet is, is showing us how dangerous the third point is, that third danger point, getting the third replicator. And will we get through this third danger point, like we got through the second and like we got through the first? Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. I have no idea. That was, um, that was an incredible talk. Thank you. <laughs> I scared I myself. <laughs>